Hi, just a quick update. So for the last year, I've been dealing with my non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and I've been in and out of the hospital. I've done around seven months of chemotherapy from November to um, June. And uh, there were a lot of improvements. Unfortunately, there was never a full remission. And um, after uh, finishing up the, the first uh, regiment of uh, chemo and seeing some improvement uh, I had a lot of health issues due to the chemo and I got sepsis so I chose to take another approach by changing a lot of things in my life diet and lifestyle and uh, I managed to improve my health a lot I managed to get rid of almost most uh, almost all of my side effects from the chemo I managed to get back in shape I managed to get back uh, in the gym and work out and uh, it even looked like the cancer wasn't progressing, at least not as aggressively. Uh, fast forward a few weeks ago, um, the pain and, uh, and a lot of the symptoms from the cancer, they've come back very aggressively. And uh, it's on my central nervous system, which means I've lost function of certain parts of my body. Um, so... I don't really see much of a choice, even though I, I could do a lot with changes in uh, lifestyle and attitude. And I'm, I'm now back in the hospital and I'm about a half an hour away from starting a very intense uh, chemo. The next uh, course of chemo, it's going to be much stronger and much more aggressive with even more side effects. So this is not the, the outcome that, that I wanted. I was hoping to to do something more holistic, something that would uh, improve my health uh, overall. But right now, that is not uh, that is not a choice that I have because this cancer it's it's not really um, it's not an easy going disease. It's a it's the winner takes all. Um, it's not going to. It doesn't look like it's going to leave me alone. So I have to beat it back. Or it's going to beat me. So that means very aggressive chemotherapy over the next couple of months. And probably with some uh, stem cell transplants, which are also quite rough. If anybody knows anything about that, they know that basically you have to wipe out the whole immune system and uh, reboot everything. So that's what's happening. I wish I had better news for you guys. Most of you know me as a fit and disciplined person and uh, that hasn't changed actually that has only enhanced and uh, I'm very uh, optimistic that I'm going to keep fighting all the way through this and I'm going to keep my head up high and I know there's a lot of you rooting for me and I won't let you guys down I'm going to keep fighting there's also some of you that probably think that I could have done better and there are other things that I should have done. It's very easy to sit on the outside. It's very easy. And uh, I hope you never get to be in a situation where you need to make very difficult decisions together with medical teams, together with your family. I hope you're never in that situation because you'll see that it's not a win-win there is going to be sacrifice. And um, this is one of the harsh realities of chronic illness, autoimmune illnesses, especially with cancer, that it's hard to make the best decision, even with world-class medical staff. There are no guarantees. And um, this is just the luck of the draw. What caused this illness? Also, we don't know. Again, could have just been bad luck um, these are not satisfactory answers there is a lot of uh, reasons for rationalizing and trying to make up uh, justifications why this happened and also looking back what could have been done better but I think the most important thing is to look forward and just keep your head in the fight stay positive no matter what goes wrong and uh, I just want to let you guys know that 
I'm going to fight till the end. Take care.